What is up, you guys? It is your girl, Shayla, aka Purely Shay. If you are new, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually Truth Talk Tuesday. Um, so but today's topic for t Truth Talk um, is it's a good one so i want you guys to do me here before we get into the meat of the video be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already be sure to subscribe hit the bell notification button so you are notified every single time that i upload and also like and share um this video um because please believe me that um because you um there are people connected to you who will also be able to benefit from today's topic because if, if this word is not for you then most definitely it is for someone else connected to you so be sure to share this video um but without further ado um let's jump into today's truth talk so the title of um the talk today is towers that are built and oh my gosh when i was st having my quiet study time um the lord brought me to genesis chapter 11 so that is where um today's truth talk is going to be based from genesis chapter 11 verses 1 through 9 uh, verse 1 through 9 and I'm not going to read all of those verses to you I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what um that particular uh verse um verse is about um if you see me looking down I am looking at my notes so I don't miss anything out that the Lord has given to me um so basically what was happening in in Genesis chapter 11 is it was they're talking about the tower of babel um and so the it says that the whole earth had one common language and because of their because of their pride which led them to sin um god punished the people by giving them different languages causing them to be scattered from one another so they weren't able to understand um each other in their own common language if you will so that's just a brief overview of um verses one through nine in genesis 11 um you can go ahead and go and do your own study on that but oh also if you um are a note taker um then go ahead and grab your notes grab your notepad grab your pen take some good notes um because this word is good um i always hear people say and i honestly believe this that note takers are um world changers so take your notes um but yes so the people in the city um built a tower that reached heaven this is what they were this is the what they were speaking amongst one another that they were going to build a tower that reached to heaven so that they can make a name for themselves let me just pick a point right here um the tower that they were building um was made out of brick instead of stone if you know anything about brick and stones or anything like that you know um that stone is way more durable than brick now brick of course is um highly durable and can withstand any um can withstand various conditions but as it relates and compares to stone um it it it's it doesn't it don't do as it don't do as do um stone goes beyond what brick can do um it's more long lasting um but the people chose to build um their tower out of um, out of brick um and so it is safe to say that the tower that was being built um in the story was man-made um it was man-made they wanted to be seen for what they could do their own achievement or war or their own greatness their goal was to draw attention to their own achievements instead of god so Again, remember when it said they wanted to build a tower that reached heaven. So that means they wanted to be seen. They not only wanted to be seen by other people, but they all they also wanted to be seen by God. And that's not that's not good for in this particular scene. That's not very good. Um, that and that would make them a prideful people. 
let me ask you this question. How many of us build towers for our own selfish gain? Now, you know, earlier I said um, that they were building this tower to build a name for themselves. Instead of building the name of Jesus, they want to build their own name. So I'm a um, asking you this question. I also um, asked myself this question as well. How many of us have built towers out of selfish gain? And it doesn't necessarily have to be um, um, just in that matter. It could also be um, it could also be people. It can be material things like um, anything that it, you are able to show forth or show off could be considered a tower. Uh, that you that you would consider your own um achievement or your greatness what you can do instead of what god actually did you put it off on yourself um in the end that that's making you a god that's called idolizing but we'll get back we'll get into that a little bit later um but how many of us have built towers for own selfish gain i.e big houses fancy cars um expensive clothes even people building fame on on various platforms like they are building up their name instead of building up the name of christ which is what the word of god tells us to do was to build up the name of christ that he should be lifted up he should be magnified and exalted um in all the heaven and his glory in all the earth that is what the bible says um and so my next point as i mentioned actually earlier they want to be seen they made their names great instead of his name great the lord is greater than any other name um he is he is the name above all names he is the king of all kings the lord of all lords they looked for recognition and to be known in the wrong way they they looked for recognition to be known in the wrong way they didn't humble themselves again because remember again i said um, they were a prideful people. They didn't humble themselves because um, the opposite of humility is pride. So they were a prideful people. They wanted to be known and recognized. So instead of humbling themselves and allowing God to raise them up and allowing God um, to give that to exalt them, they themselves wanted did it on their own. Um, that's not good, y'all. That's not good. How many of times have we done that? You know what I'm saying? That's just something to think about. Um, that's something to think about the people were prideful and they idolized themselves lifting up their um any other name the people were prideful lifting up any other name than god the father god the son god holy spirit it is called idol worship it is called idol worship the lord said that we shall have no other gods before him for he is a jealous god we shall have no other idols and the idols doesn't um the idols can be people it could be things it can be jobs it could be it could be circumstance like it could be it can, anything that takes the place of god of christ is an idol like you can have like and it doesn't even have to be physical things it can it can be internal um what um what things have you um let me ask you this what towers or what idols have you placed on the have hidden in your heart the things um that nobody else knows about but you know about that that you keep secret even though god sees all things so you can't really you can't keep anything hidden from him because he sees all things but what things have you yourself um hidden in your heart and have hid um and have built towers within yourself um um and it's considered idolization you may not recognize that it is but i'm here to tell you that's what it is there's your truth for, there's your truth for today um yes idol worship so earlier it was noted that people spoke in a common language now um um people spoke in a common language so they all they were able to understand um what each other was saying and so um in the next transition of this um the lord um the lord came down from heaven you know they they these people they wanted to build um they wanted to build a tower that reached the heavens okay so you want god to see what you're doing down here okay he, the lord came down he saw what you're doing he saw he looked around he saw and examined and he was like okay can I tell you this? The Lord was not pleased. He was displeased with the work of his people. So what did God do? This is what God did. He confuses the language of the people. 
because they were building a tower to build a name for themselves. I mentioned this earlier. They built a tower um, to make a name for themselves. Um, and they were putting the focus on them instead of putting the focus on Christ. So God, um, in that, in their sin, that pride that led them to sin, that was pride that led them to sin, um, in that God confused their language so they wouldn't be under, able to understand each other. And that also meant, um, that it would stop what they were doing. It would stop their plans. It would stop um their own will their own desires it would stop what they were doing um so that it it, it can no longer go forth it can it couldn't be finished so that's what the lord was that's what the lord was doing um so that's what he was doing that is like the brief overview of that chapter um so this is what but but if you think about it, this is what is going on in the world today for many for and this is for many years. Many people are busy making name for themselves, making themselves relevant, flattering and um, flaunting themselves and not, you know, humbling themselves. People are so hungry after fame and fortune and not hung hungry enough after God. Like it says in, in, in the word of God that he who hungers and thirsts after righteousness shall be filled. But if you aren't hungering and thirsting after righteousness and you're hungering and thirsting after other things, other people and just stuff that don't mean nothing, um, then I tell you, you're not going to be filled. You're not going to be filled with the word. You're not going to be filled with the truth. You're not going to be filled with the ho with the Holy Spirit. You're not going to... Um, you just you just not gonna be you're not gonna be filled because you're filled with other stuff um that mean that have no meaning that mean absolutely nothing in a sense um and 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 let me just put put this out there like it's not like when i talk about um when i talk about um that selfish gain i don't know i'm not necessarily talk saying that is a bad um thing like it's not a bad thing when um you are able to have like have those um personal achievements but when you use it in the wrong way then that that's what makes it wrong and that's what the people were doing in this context they were using it in the wrong way um so the people were um people are so hungry after fame and fortune not hungry after god not hungry after truth not hungry after um what's going to bring life they're not hungry of what's going to of the eternal things that's just that's going to sustain them they don't look to lift up the name of god but rather they want to lift up the name of themselves billy they want to lift up the name of bob billy and bailey like they're not lifting up the name of jesus um but there's no other name like him there is no one who can compare to our god um but in this, I but this is my now this is my interpretation of what God was saying. Um, God says you can go Babylon somewhere else, but in my kingdom will, um, but in my, um, but not in my kingdom will man be glorified. It is I who gets the glory because I am that I am. God is King. God is Lord. God is Jesus the Christ. He is the master, the creator over all things. He is the creator of the universe. Now, I let me put this in there because it just, I just, I don't like it when people say, who are you? Who do you believe in? Oh, I believe in the universe. Listen, the universe is technically the world. So you believe in the world? when it says in the and when it says in the bible um that you should um that you shall not be conformed to this world um but re be renewed in your mind that's just a thought that was just a insert right there but anyway let me get let me not deviate from my notes let me let me not let me not deviate from my notes god is the creator jesus is lord jesus is lord um so we the world need to be a people to worship the lord and not worship other people that goes back to what i was saying about that idol worship that idleness not idol like being stagnant um or complacent but idol is having other 
things before you taking the place of Christ, which is what I mentioned before. Um, not building monuments of people. We need to be a people to build the name of Jesus, lift up his name, proclaim of his wondrous works, not our own and and doings. It is only God who was great above all things. He is greater above all things. So as I am closing, I'm going to leave you um, with a few questions that you I really encourage you to ponder upon and really um, take inventory of your own life and journey. Um, do you seek to be made known by man or do you seek to be made known um do you, or do you seek to make the name of Jesus known to all the world? And when you do that, I'm going to put this out there. When you seek to make the name of Jesus known, um, he will bring you up as well because you have humbled yourself before him. Um, when you go and seek to do, what is your intention or motive behind it? And what I mean by that, um, like if you're going to seek out um, a new job, um, like what are your intentions behind it? When you go and you wanna and you are looking to um, build a relationship, what is your intention behind it? Like, what is your motive behind it? Is it is it a negative? Um, is it a negative um, motive or is it a positive one? Um, will this that you do? glorify will well, what you do glorify god or glorify man like that like when i say that um i'm always saying i'm always i'm almost saying um are you going to be a people pleaser or are you looking are you seeking to please the father that's what that question means um what offering um what offering are you offering like when 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 you say you're going to do something for somebody else what kind of offering are you offering that individual like um are you, it also, it, ju it just goes back to the intention if you will um um are you taking pleasure in your earthly matter in the earthly matters are you um taking pleasure in delighting yourself in the lord and the things that he um would have what and um i'm gonna leave you with this last question what is your life or what is in your life that replaces god now those are some questions that you really want to um take inventory and really do a self-assessment um because because like for real for real all of us um are a work in progress and no one um is perfect but we are but us as believers we are seeking to um we are seeking to be perfected in christ not us being perfect um not suffering from perfectionism but we are seeking to be made perfect in christ um the ultimate perfect one um so that is all that i have for um today's truth talk that was like real quick um that was real quick um what are um the towers built in your lives tower towers that are built what are those in your life it could be people it could be things it could even be yourself to be completely honest if you want to put it like if you just want to make it plain it can even be yourself but i challenge you and encourage you to do this self-assessment and really reflect on what we talked about today so yes i leave you um with those few questions and i pray that it blessed you i pray that it opened up your eyes i pray that as you were listening um that you had an open heart and mind and ears to receive what was being spoken um and that you take heed um to what is being given to you amen so i love you guys and i will talk to you guys in the next video uh remember be sure to like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here so i love you guys peace